Welcome to Alcum Blue Boutique channel. If you guys are new here, you guys don't know who I am. My name is Zua. And if you guys forget how to pronounce my name Zua, you guys can call me Z if it's easier for you. Anyways, so today video, I'm just showing you guys um, in the last two weeks of July, my work with me video log. I didn't have much to film because i am just been doing a lot of embroidered shirts. So I was just filming like a couple of things here and there of me doing like my embroidery shirts. And so I decided to just put all those little clips from here and there to into this um, work motivation video log for you guys. So here you guys just see me working on a donut birthday shirt for a customer so this is an actual order from etsy that i'm working on and here you guys just see me trimming all the fabric and htv vinyl as you guys know that you guys can use glitter htv or embroidery vinyl it's just up to you like what you are trying to go for or what you like you can use either one um I like both of them and but then the thing about HTV is I think it's a little bit it has like this kind of like texture surface it's not smooth like the embroidery vinyl because embroidery vinyl has this coating that make it like a glossy look on top but with HTV it doesn't so it's a little bit scratchy <laughs> so it has a texture on the HTV glitter so anyways, this is a second shirt and it's the second, it's like a different day. Um, I don't know which day, I was just filming um, like on random day in the last two weeks of July. So this is another different shirt order. Um, this is a strawberry birthday shirt for one euro. So here you guys just see me doing the applique. So for applique, you guys have to heat and bond all your fabrics and then make sure you guys peel off the heat and bomb before you guys place it for the place for the tack down stitch um so it will do a placement stitch first and then you guys already saw me peel the heat and bond and put the applique fabric on top of the placement stitch and then i did the tack down and then i take it off the hoop and then i iron it and once i iron it with my mini cricut easy press um it will get rid of all the bubble and all the wrinkles so like so then i won't have any like wrinkle after it finished with the embroidery and then i just place it back on the machine and now it's doing a satin stitch right now so anyways um if you guys have been following me you guys notice that um i'm gonna be switching gear in my business I have said numerous times that since I don't focus too much on tutu, um, it's not working well for me. And I feel like I want to go a different direction because tutu is just too much, too much of um, supplies out to keep track. And I constantly feel like I have to come up with like new design. And I just feel like um, it's not for me anymore. I probably will do a um, tutorial here in the future on Tutu, but technically um, I'm gonna get rid of them. And I have already talked to Angela about it and she's okay with me uh, selling on her, you know, getting rid of them on her Facebook group. But I already say that like uh, two weeks ago, so I need to, you know, hurry up and bundle them together i know that people have messaged me but i didn't want to sell them individually because i want to get rid of them as fast as i can and bundle them together so i probably put like the used um one in a bundle and all the brand new one that i haven't touched and ribbon that i haven't used i'm gonna bundle them and sell them at the bundle so Anyways, here you guys just see me cleaning up the back of my shirt and I'm just on this core with the girls, you know um, In the last week um, We've been on this core, but I think it's been really quiet after this day that I film um, 
try to be more focused now and you know let everybody like uh, do their own thing so from now on like when i do a uh, work with me video you guys probably not gonna see me um chatting much on discord with my buddies here <laughs> but here just chatting with them and you know finishing my work and then right now i'm just lip rolling the shirt and then you know fold it and prepare it to ship so anyways you guys um notice that you know etsy just came out with the star seller and i feel like my shop is not doing um uh, that well well I, I don't have like a bad percentage but i'm not like 90 percent um, I think my shipping was like 89% and my five-star review was 90% and then the messaging was like 80% or 89% I can't remember but I'm I'm like a B and an A minus for the star still for the uh, five-star review so I don't know me I don't know if that affects your shop or not but I I don't know because I don't get this thing with Etsy um, I'm pretty new to Etsy, so I'm still learning. And just that this week, my order's been a little bit different. Um, normally, I would get like five, seven order per week, but just this past week, um, I only got two order. But I'm, I'm working on it and improving it. Anyways, here you guys see me with folding this shirt. I love the font on this shirt, you guys. If you guys are curious about this font, this font is called Sophia and it's from Stitchtopia. It's a cursive font. So you guys, when you guys buy cursive font, um, make sure that you connect the cursive font and brilliance the because that's the whole purpose of a cursive font. <laughs> I see some people think like, since they come individually, um, they don't connect it together. So make sure you connect them together so they'll look nice like a script font. And then here you guys just see me packaging my shirt this is like normally how i package it um just super simple you guys i don't do anything fancy i'm just doing something simple just uh, wrap it with tissue white tissue and then put like the thank you sticker on top and i just add like a little birthday sticker inside of it too that's it you guys and then just close the to open end with washi that's it, you guys. That's how I package my stuff. You know, I try not to overdo anything because the more things you add, just the more expense you guys have to add into your business. So just try to keep things simple um, in the beginning. Maybe later I might change, depend on how my business goes. But um, in the beginning, it's just easy to make it simple. Um, you don't need all the extra things because I don't. I don't think people care. Like maybe i only like as long as it's arrived safely and you package it well doesn't need to be like all pretty i know people do like all over extra things but i just like to be simple and then i put the invoice sheet in there too and yeah that's it you guys and then here you guys just see me it's a different day that i'm actually ordering like poly mailer um you know i I don't know I ran out like one day that um, I don't have any more poly mailer and I have like five shirts to ship out and I only have like one poly mailer left so it's not gonna come in time for me to use the poly mailer that I'm ordering from you pack and ship so actually on this day like before I was ordering from you pack and ship I had run to Walmart to grab my poly mailer and Walmart only comes in five in a pack and they're $3.97 so I don't recommend you guys do that like if you guys could buy ahead and make sure you're well stocked um, it's just that I don't have many orders so I only got a hundred and then now I finally used all of that 100 poly mailer bag so I didn't check it constantly so then I ran out when I have to you know ship out five shirts the next day so then now I'm just sitting here. You guys see me with my MacBook Pro laptop with like the rainbow keyboard here. <laughs> and 
ordering from you pack and ship so here it came from you pack and ship i only got the christmas one and the um happy face and then this one the thank you one like pink one i got from amazon because you pack and ship was taking forever so i thought it was not making time so i ordered amazon but then they all came on the same day anyways um yeah so anyways you guys that's it i hope you guys like this video you guys thank you and take care and remember to like and subscribe you guys bye